So here's the video about my um, creation process uh, with a Rapid Composer. <coughs> As I uh, wrote, I have those uh, recognition engines. I have Fader, it was a song to stems, and I have uh, Guitar to taps, yes. Um, and this is the song uh, I want to um, create a melody for, yes. Or play the melody. And within uh, Song to Stems, I am able to download uh, the MIDI. Yes. <coughs> and then uh, I. Uh, also download the vocals as separate stem and uh, here are the guitars and maybe synthesizer in this uh, stem other and when I import it into uh, Cubase where is Cubase <coughs> when I import it into Cubase um, I use uh, Melodyne uh, to get a monophonic audio from the vocals and from the uh, other track, yes. And um, from Fader I also get the MIDI uh, for all those stems, yes. Um, I use Melodyne uh, to compare the quality of the vocal stem and the other stem yes uh, and uh, I put it into uh, guitar to taps yes uh, and then save it as a MIDI file to be cleaned up in a rapid composer I will show you that right now <coughs> so uh, here I have Rapid Composer and I import the MIDI file where all those uh, MIDI uh, information from the separate stems and from Melodyne are incorporated. So, okay, um, I say don't convert, that's a thing uh, you told me, and it says chords are too complex, so I disable uh, this second um, audio track, or uh, this MIDI, from, uh, which comes from uh, Melodyne, yes, because I already have it in here yes so I import it and now to the cleanup process yes um, where I would like uh, <coughs> format uh, utility okay I bring up the variations tab and for all the tracks yes, uh, that have guitar on it uh, I'll do the following I say make monophonic and I say limit node range lowest node E2 highest node D5 okay uh, what's uh, what's nice is the option that I can duplicate uh, the track very soon uh, with the um, alterations applied. But then what I like to have uh, would this transfer format to the next track, yes, um, for, for this one, yes, because I want to do the very same thing, yes. I want to uh, say make monophonic and I want to say uh, 
limit node range. Uh, and if I have a lot of tracks, then that's quite uh, quite boring, yes. Um, and I did not find uh, a feature to uh, transfer the format of one track to the other. Yes, uh, maybe I'm missing that. Uh, maybe you can. If that's so, then please point me uh, to to the place uh, where I can can do this. Um, so, like here in in Word. Yes, uh, if I have. Uh, a formatting, um, I can transfer the format very quickly and don't have to do all the alterations manually, yes. And uh, that would be great if Rapid Composer would have such a transfer format button, yes. Uh, what I, what I uh, saw was the following, just uh, just uh, let's make the alterations or ma don't make them just copy uh, duplicate the track uh, what I saw was uh, that I could use a template but it replaces the track with a template and that's not the thing I want I want the format I have applied to the track I, I choose, yes, um, and the template stuff is uh, very useful, um, but uh, when I import a MIDI file and want to apply formats uh, to a given track, then I'm missing the feature. Oh, okay, uh, I will have to do this for each and every track, yes. Make monophonic and limit node range and it's very boring, yes, uh, because I always have uh, for each of the songs um, quite a few uh, guitar lanes, yes, where I want to apply those settings. And for this one The scroll wheel uh, you added is, is is very very helpful to to make this boring process uh, a, a little easier. Yes, but uh, a transfer format button would be highly uh, appreciated. And if it's already in there somewhere, uh, please point me to the place where it is. Um, okay, I rename this. This is um, Melodyne Other. And this is Melodyne Vocals. And these are the vocals from the stem. <laughs> What's very nice is uh, this option that I can remove uh, the pitch bands. As you shown me right here. I leave one track. The one I copied here. Uh, oops. This thing with the <laughs> with the scroll wheel. I didn't want to uh, alter this. So this is the one with the bends. Um, okay, and um, to 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 the uh, to the um, other feature, um, it would be really great to have um, a 
Drop äh, MIDI äh, Variation right here, yes, not on the generator, uh, the Markov Melody generator, but 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 right here, uh, drop and analyze MIDI, yes, and um, then the um, analyzed stuff would be applied to the to the melody in here, yes. Um, it would not generate a new melody, but apply it uh, right here. That would be would be very uh, helpful um, for creating a melody based on a given MIDI file uh, that alters a melody that's already in the track. Yes, um, and if I want to create a, a new melody uh, with um, the information from another MIDI file, then I would go into the Markov Melody Generator direction. But uh, to have a uh, variation of adding a MIDI file um, applied here would be very helpful, like uh, um, this one, yes, um, re-rhythmatize phrase or uh, rhythm mapper or rotate nodes or uh, mirror vertically or mirror horizontally uh, um, to have a variation of dropping a MIDI file, getting it analyzed and applied to the uh, melody that's in the track. Okay, so I'll save this composition. <coughs> and I export it as uh, MIDI to be uh, then used in my uh, song creation process. Thank you.